there it goes. <laughs> I was pressing the button, it wasn't going. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Happy Sunday. It's April 3rd. I'm about to go swimming, so I want to do this really quick. Um, I'm not sure. If the pool is open, I think it is. They were short staffed. So like one Saturday, the pool wasn't opened a couple weeks ago. And so I'm hoping it's opened. I was calling just to be sure. Um, I should have asked when I was there Friday, but I'm gonna go swim hopefully. And I'm gonna read this one. Because, it, again, it's good with the little stories he puts in here. Um, so. Put on, then, as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassion, kindness, loveliness, meekness, and patience. Colossians 3.12 When the news of the Battle of Waterloo was first received in England, it was brought to the south coast by ship and then sent on by semaphore signals upon high places. The message came through, Wellington defeated, and then fog rolled in and concealed the signal flags. The news of defeat spread gloom throughout the land. But when the fog lifted, the signals were completed. Wellington defeated the enemy. The nation's joyful response was that much more intense because of the darkness that preceded it. So much of our life and recovery contains signals yet to be finished or messages temporarily hidden by fog. We are blessed in recovery by our Christian faith. This faith is based on God's victory in Christ, who turned the defeat of the cross into the triumph of Easter. He keeps talking about that, and I like it. Um, the cross is the incomplete message. The empty tomb is the final answer. Christ is risen. He is alive. He is with us, and we live with him. His risen life is with our recovery and in the 12 steps, alive, powerful, and effective. Nothing can ever defeat our Lord. Therefore, we cannot be defeated. Risen Lord, you are always victorious. Help me never forget your victory is mine too. Amen. That's good. Um, and so uh, every day I got to pick a poem to do. Um, I'm not always going to be doing my own poems. I might do, uh, you know, other people's poems. And um, I just thought of a poem um, that I will do on Easter um, because um, there's a very good movie that I'm gonna recommend for Easter and it's called Risen. It's just Risen. And it's about a Roman soldier who is sent to find um, Christ's body be, to prove that, you know, it was, you know, a lie. And, um, he finds, <laughs> he finds Christ. And so, and it's pretty, it's just so well done. And it, it's just a really good movie. It's like my favorite. Um, um, you know, biblical, whatever. It's, it's fictional you know, about the um, centurion, but it's just so well done. Um, it's really good, so I recommend you watch that. I'll probably watch it again. Um, and I had the movie, and it was one of the things I, I left the movies um, that I was thinking of keeping, I ended up leaving them for my kids in the storage. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what really became of the stuff I left in the storage for my kids, but I just let it go. And so, but anyways, I'm getting ready. I'm probably gonna have a little snack. I haven't ate anything. Don't wanna swim on an empty stomach, but I'm getting ready to go swim. I hope you have a lovely Sunday. 
and I'll see you in a little bit <laughs> um, later on this evening, probably with my poem of the day. Bye.